Hello everybody, good day to you and welcome back. If this is your first time here, just welcome. Glad you're here. I know I'm glad to be here. This is a 2006 Chevrolet Suburban 5.3 liter. Customer states that they can hear the AC high side service fitting leaking. So let's see if we cannot confirm this. But first, I'd like to probe the vents to see what kind of uh, temperatures we're getting in the cabin here. While our thermal meter is settling in, let us pop in the hood and we will connect the machine to the service ports. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, here's the high side fitting. There's the low side over there. I did just hear a whisk of uh, escaping refrigerant. You know, perhaps that uh, little check ball is leaking. This looks like a job for the refrigerant detector powering on. Come on, AC machine. Coming with me. Powering on. There we go. Alrighty, system set to max coldness. We have achieved, what, 62 degrees at the center vent. That's okay, a little underperforming. Shut that down. There we go. All right, the detector has warmed up. It is ready to detect. Refrigerant detector cam. Yep, that's a hit. Okay, that's leaking. And let's check that load side valve while we're here. Let's pull that guy out. Yep. Okay, both service ports do have a leak. Let's check. I see some oil and stuff around here on this low side it's cycling switch. So, you see how it's kind of shiny right there? Let's see if uh, there's refrigerant around this as well. I don't think so. Maybe it's not leaking enough to be detected by the detector. But I do see some some dye or some oil on that. I, I think it does have a slow leak. Okay. All right, next up, let's get the machine connected. We do have to evacuate the refrigerant that is uh, currently in the system. But before I command the machine to recover all of this, I want to go ahead and restart the system and just get an idea of what kind of pressures we have right now. That way we can compare to a uh, the pressures after the system gets recharged. Restarting AC system now. Okay, compressor came on. Pressure differentials are occurring. About 35, 32 on the low side. We're looking good here. 155, 160 on the high side, that's a little low. I imagine it's low on refrigerant. Let's go ahead and recover this. Do not save. Connected. System recovery in progress. Repowering down. Okay, pressures are nearing zero. The system is almost completely recovered. So far we pulled out 1.444 pounds refrigerant um, spec on this being a suburban with front and rear AC is about three pounds so we are just under half of the charge here you guys see it you really shouldn't be there lizard here let's get him out of here before he gets hurt Go on, man. It's hot in here. Get, 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 get. Jump out. No, not in the fans. Oh, there he is. He made it down there. All right, out, all the way out, lizard. Turn around. Get, get out of the truck. There you go. All right, had some parts delivered. First things first is gonna be this low side cycling switch. So let's go ahead and get this guy disconnected real quick. Like, these are very easy to replace. And just thread on and thread off. Okay. And new one coming. 
coming in. Okay, let's get this O-ring out of here. I always put in new O-rings. Come out, come out. This one's green, so you know it's good. <laughs> Doo -doo 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 -doo. Reach. Come on, get on there, please. Do it. All the way on. Done. Switch click. And connector click. All right, beautiful. All right, let's get this low side service port out. Come on. Yeah, that O-ring in there is very flat. It's got an indentation from, uh, from its seated position. So that's going away. New one going in. Old one, new one. I'll just stick you right inside of your little hole there. Trader click. There we go. And now for the primary offender, the high side service port. So uh, believe it or not, these actually require a special socket. These, uh, these service ports are eight sided, not six sided. Fortunately for me, I possess said special socket. because pliers does not work. If you try to use pliers, it'll gouge up the surface right here and uh, the machine will not be able to attach to the service port because of those little gouges. Come out. has its own new o-ring. Stick that guy on there. Now, we can connect the machine again, place this into a vacuum, and then install the uh, full charge to capacity. Valve click. off. Uh oh, my light. What's going on here? All right, machine powering back on. Let's get our service valves reconnected. And of course, low side. On there, there we go. Good. All right, beginning vacuuming now. Vacuum, we'll set it for 10 minutes. Do not save. Do not save. 10 minutes. Begin vacuuming now. All right, be right back. Alrighty, vacuum is complete. 
Tesla and move on. Install the charge. Not PoE system. Those are for electronic compressors. And we're going to install three pounds of refrigerant. Do not save. Zero, three pounds on the high side. Yep, go, go, go. Begin installing refrigerant charge now. All right, our machine has completed the installation of its three pounds of refrigerant. Let's power this thing up full blast and uh, we're gonna check this center vent temp again, make sure everything's all good to go here. And systems on. Let's go check our pressures. Very good. And look what we got here. 200 pounds on our high side and low side crept up to what, 49, 48? This is okay, I accept this. I like that 200 though, that's good. Okay, let's get this guy disconnected. We have no more use for the machine. We've got our pressure readings, we've got our refrigerant installed. Low side, come on up there please. There we go. And of course, caps back on. You must not neglect the caps. Because everybody neglects the caps. And that is terrible. And of course, our trash. Can't leave that there. Trash gravity. Goodbye, 5.3 liter. Oh, fail. There. Ooh, it feels nice in here. Alrighty, looking good. Uh, trying to keep the camera out of the airstream. We've got center vent temp of focusing, not focusing, about 50 degrees right now. So we're good to go. We've got a pressure improvement. We have a temperature improvement. We have a, well, three leaks that were solved. This one is good to go. Parking's the auto. We're backing her out. You see, it's not always something catastrophic when your systems are not working like they are designed to. Sometimes it's those little things. And in this particular case, it happened to be three little things. Uh, but regardless, we got it uh, solved and figured out. So we're good to go here. And that being said, as always, I'd like to thank you for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to let me know about that down in the comment section below. Again, and as always, I'd like to thank you for watching. And most importantly, before I go, I would like to wish each and every one of you a great day. See you guys later. Goodbye, Suburban.